So you consider yourself well versed in Android, you know all the apps you need, or at least you think you do. Well, here are some that we think even hardcore Android users might want to check out. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Up front, let's just state that while some of these apps are going to be unknown to many of you out there, there are more than a few obvious or popular inclusions, but we think they're warranted all the same. So, without any further ado, let's go. Over the past year or so, Shop from Shopify has been a really useful home for package tracking, at least for me. As we just mentioned, it's actually powered by the popular e-commerce platform Shopify, which doesn't necessarily mean a great deal, but it is from a respected platform. This is not an unknown either, as it has been downloaded over 10 million times on the Play Store. However, it's a really solid and useful app as it's a hub for tracking all of your packages. The real-time map tracking is something that doesn't work with every single courier or package company, but it is useful if you're able to get precise information on where your online order is. For that reason, Shop is simply a must-have, as you might not have even known it existed before. There is an in-app payment platform that claims to help reduce or offset your carbon footprint for orders, but it's the core package tracking here that is the main draw with Shop. While not really much use if you do use another music streaming service, the instant popularity of Spotify's year in review posts is probably why you might want to take a look at Spotty Stats if you are a Spotify subscriber. It's genuinely a beautiful application, the UI, the animations, and just the premise of this app itself. Once you connect your Spotify account, Spotty Stats allows you to track your listening history to an almost granular level. Information on each individual song or album is right there alongside an audio analysis, which although a little bit hit or miss, shows the number of beats within a track so you can pinpoint that drop. As we mentioned, this might not be for those of you out there who don't have a Spotify subscription, but this is a fantastic way to keep track of your library, your playlists, and what you've been listening to all throughout the year. You probably knew of Launcher Launcher already. It has become one of the go-to third-party launchers for those wanting a clean, unobtrusive Android experience. For that reason, it has to be considered a must-have or an essential Android application for tweakers out there. Android has potentially thousands of launchers that all offer varying degrees of control and customization. Nova may be the number one, but if you want something close to the Pixel launcher, but with a little bit more oomph, then you should already probably be using Launcher. The integration with the Google Discover feed with an added APK is a notable inclusion, while you have proper contextual at-a-glance widgets up there up top too. We haven't even scratched the surface of what you can do to your smartphone home screen with Launcher Launcher, but like most third-party launchers out there, you have endless possibility to customize your device to look and operate just how you want it to. As one of the world's biggest websites, Reddit has a ton of third-party viewers, readers, and management applications for Android. One of the best looking and simplest that you might not have already heard of or even tried is Infinity. It's fairly lightweight, has a nice navigation system, and has a properly AMOLED-friendly dark theme amongst tons of other features, including the neat ability to auto-scroll your feeds with the lazy mode. One of the big things touted by developers is the card view, and I think this is one that has me coming back to infinity time after time. Plus, the subreddit view is actually a really nice inclusion. At the end of the day, this is just another Reddit client, but a really good one at that. If you're not interested in the site, then it probably won't be an essential, but for time killing, it's a tidy, well-organized Android application for viewing Reddit. Of course, Google One is available to everyone, but it's most useful and a must-have when you factor in a subscription plan. Unfortunately, Google has now removed unlimited high-quality photo backups within Google Photos, or at least it will in future. That does mean that if you want to preserve your memories and even files on top of that, then you'll need to fork out for some extra storage. In all honesty, it's one of the few subscription services that is actually worth it. Even the base 100GB tier is probably enough for most people, with the added bonus of random subscriber benefits such as the recent free Nest Mini promotion. Being a Google One subscriber of a certain level also nets you a VPN in the US, but it's the added backup options for Android users that proves to be a notable benefit here. In reality, you might not need to use an application like What3Words in your daily life. The reason though why this is an essential Android app is that it offers a safety net unlike Google Maps. When you need to share your location precisely without using map markers and geo coordinates, it's actually quite difficult for those not versed in traditional mapping skills. What three words gives every single three meter square of the planet a unique three word combination that is easier to remember or share than a generic map location. 
First and foremost, this is a superb tool for emergency services and has been used to locate people in the UK when stranded or in need of assistance. It's also a good safety net, but it can be useful for meeting with friends and family as you can send a precise location where they can meet and head to without actually needing to know map coordinates specifically. Shortcut Maker is a proper power user Android app that really is an essential if you want better automation or just a way to skip directly to a specific settings menu section. That's not necessarily the best explanation as with this app you create home screen shortcuts that will launch into actions. That said it is hard to do an application like this justice but being able to just create shortcuts to launch apps into a split screen or just head to a specific section of your menu or even into a specific in-app area is an awesome inclusion. For tinkerers or just as a time-saving tool, we think it's worth a try regardless. Although equalizers are commonplace on the Play Store, Wavelet takes your headphone or earbuds to the next level with a detailed equalizer that lets you tweak your audio experience on a device-by-device -device basis. The basic free version of this app lets you auto EQ to some of the most popular headphone and earbud brands. This ensures that you're experiencing your audio library in the best possible way on your smartphone and with the headphones you have. With an in-app purchase, you gain some added effects and full controls for the visualizers. That said, the free version offers a ton of presets that you can still tailor your audio experience to for your specific headphones or earbuds. My personal opinion is that for one of the audio files, Wavelet is an essential addition to your smartphone. Adding to the personalization options that are afforded by Lawn Chair, finding wallpapers and ringtones is surprisingly a frustrating process in 2020. Although probably the worst name ever conceived for an Android app, Creative App is pretty good for anyone wanting to tweak and customize their backgrounds and notifications within one convenient place. The app is updated with new wallpapers and ringtones almost every day, with chip tune versions of popular tracks also updated on a regular basis. While the wallpaper selection might not be the outright best, Combining custom options in one place is always an awesome time saver. So that's a relatively small collection of apps that we think even hardcore Android users will be happy with. If you have any of your own though, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below, especially the ones you can't live without, and we'll check out as many as humanly possible. Until next time though, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.